हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम फ्रेंड्स दोज हु आर फॉलोइंग द इंडिया इंडिया मैन्युफैक्चरिंग इनिशिएटिव स्पेशली द पी एल आई स्कीम माइट हैव सीन दिस आर्टिकल व्हिच वाज पब्लिश ऑन 17 जनवरी 2024 व्हिच सेज दैट इंडिया हैज टू पे इंडिया विल इंडिया टू पे इंसेंटिव वर्थ 1.32 बिलियन डॉलर्स अंडर द मैन्युफैक्चरिंग स्कीम दिस ईयर सो इट बेसिकली सेज दैट that rupees 11000 crores which translates to 1.2 billion dollars will be paid to private companies this fiscal ending march for their investment to boost local manufacturing a trade ministry official said on wednesday it also says that rupees 4415 crores under the production link scheme has already been paid right so this covers uh, this scheme was launched in uh, 2022 2020 and covers 14 sector from electronic products to pharma pharmaceutical drugs so this was the this is the news item so what i thought friend is friends are this uh, new let me investigate this a little bit but deeper with numbers so i created some charts and i'm going to take you through those charts to show you the progress of the pli scheme and how this number related to past government ministries uh, budgets which they had announced from time to time so friends this is the these are the two dashboard which i have created and i am going to take you through this dashboard which will give us a very good introspection as to what is going on as far as the pli scheme is concerned now on the right hand side of your screen screen this is a dashboard which i created when the budget was announced last uh, february which is in february 2023 now what i did is i basically drew out all the ministries budgetary project projections starting from fy22 and the current budgetary actually the spend fy22 and the current budgetary estimate of fy24 so we have actual spend fy22 budgetary estimate of fy23 the budgetary revised estimate of fy23 and the budgetary estimate of fy24 so we have got three data one was the actual spend of fy22 the budgetary estimate and the revised estimate of fy23 and the budgetary estimate of fy24 now why i am telling you all this you will be able to looking at this data you will be able to evaluate the progress of this scheme now if you look at the actual since the pli scheme was launched in fy uh, in uh, the year 2020 you will notice that the actual spend of pli scheme in fy22 was pretty low it is as close as 1.19 crores uh, k crores means 1193 uh, 94 because you add one here it comes out to be 1194 crores which is very very low now in the uh, in budget uh, or budgetary estimate of fy23 the projections were quite large if you see the budgetary estimate was 10.9 k crores which means then they revised the budget later and brought it down to 6019 crores now if you look at this article what is this article basically says that the government of india has spent how much the government of india has spent 4000 4415 crores till date and the pli scheme right we already which means that the progress as per as the earlier scheme is concerned now look at these this was remember this number 4415 crores now we are we, we have from the budget uh, data that we have spent 1194 crores in fy22 so if you subtract from 4415 crores minus 1 9 1 1 sorry 1 1 94 it comes out to be 3221 crores right so which basically means that that since the budgetary um, estimate that is since fy23 till now we have spent how much 3211 crores this is exactly what it basically means because if you look at this article which says that the government has paid incentive worth rupees 400 right 414 uh, for 400 uh, for 4415 crores right it says the government has already paid incentive worth under the production lease incentive 
uh, it says it doesn't say that whether it has paid in this fiscal or it has paid paid till date. See, if I make an assumption that if it has paid till date, four thousand four hundred fifteen crores, then this number basically gives a very remarkably uh, you know uh, gloomy picture as far as the government estimate as far as the spend is concerned, which is clearly evident. Because in FY twenty two, the total spend was one thousand one hundred ninety four crores, right? Now, from that period till date, we have spent only how much? Three thousand two hundred twenty one crores only, which means that the government wants to spend how much? The government wants to spend how much in this fiscal? They want to spend eleven thousand crores. Now, the eleven thousand crores is more than the budgetary estimate of the government of FY twenty four, which is now nine thousand. 583 crores so if the government really can spend 11500 crores then they will be going much above what their budgetary estimate is that is going to be remarkable progress as far as the government is concerned for the fiscal year 2024 so look at these number because just memorize these numbers and keep this number at your back you know at the head of your uh, on in your head so that these schemes can be evaluated because these schemes are very important for the progress of our country's economy and unless we have a very clear understanding of the trends we will not be able to evaluate how the progress is happening okay so this is why i put out this these uh, this data so that everybody can see where we are and link this to the current evaluation which the government of india is doing as per the pli scheme is concerned because this is a data which is right there in the budgetary document and it has been extracted there is nothing confidential about it so again let me revise this data fi22 the government of india had spent 1194 94 crores and the government is saying that they have already spent 4415 crores till date i am not too sure they are talking about since the beginning or this fiscal year right whatever it is let's assume that they have they are talking for the, in this fiscal year let's assume that still this number they have to they have to spend additional how much 6000 plus crores right in the in the coming uh, in uh, in uh, next 3 months right whatever uh, the amount of um, uh, you know uh, whatever period is left out till day till the financial end in 31st march so which is a substantial amount of spend the government of india has to do so that looks very very you know um it is not a very difficult uh, easy task to uh, accomplish in a such a short short period of time unless and until the government of india has already lined up the payments and the uh, the companies have already uh, you know submitted their bills and the government of india is already making uh, in progress in the making those payments so government india government of india might be knowing well so i have i am nobody to speculate on their behalf what can i can tell you is the numbers i can show you the numbers so that you can look at these numbers and yourself basically understand where we are as far as these schemes are concerned now so there is one more aspect which i want to show you on the right uh, left uh, on the left hand side of your screen there is another dashboard which basically gives you the capital and the revenue expenditure of the various ministries of the government now since the department of uh, ministry of electronics and it uh, and it that is the they have the largest share as far as the pli scheme is concerned so if you look at the it share how much it is it is 55.78 per cent of the overall budgetary estimate for fi24 so let's look at the progress of it because that will give us some kind of idea about where where they where we are heading as far as the pli scheme is concerned so what i am going to do i am going to bring out it from this data so i am going to choose first revenue expenditure of the various ministry and try to get it where it is so if we look at it where is it which page it is okay so i think yeah yeah here is it so if you look at it so we have got budgetary estimate number so my the budgetary estimate of it is huh? this is lakh crores so it was 0.04 lakh crores in fy 18 so then it is then it became 0.06 lakh crores then it became 0 then it went down and then now from fy 21 the total revenue expenditure of mighty has increased substantially so basically the mighty where uh, revenue expenditure this fiscal year is around 
uh, crores, right? 16 k crores. Now let's 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 and this number is by the way till November. Okay, this is that overall estimate. And if I show you the actual spend, what they have done, let's look at how much actual spend they have done. So the actual spend till November 2023. Has only 5,000 crores as far as mighty is concerned. So there is a huge gap. So if you look at the percentage spend, the percentage spend has been only 38, 31.87%. So it looks like that this is basically coming from the data is coming from the Comptroller uh, uh, and Auditor General of, of India, uh, the, the CGA, right? The Accounting uh, uh, you know, uh, Department of India. So the government's, uh, which uh, the government's accounting department. So from that point of view, if you look at this number, you will find that there is only a 38, 1.87 percent of spend which has happened till November. Now, if I do a monthly uh, time scale, let's see how the progress is from a monthly point of view, and then I will do a time scale of 15 months. So that will give us a very good picture. So if you look at compare November 23 till uh, you know from November 22. So November 22, the spend was from the budgetary estimate was 24.57 percent, right, of the overall budgetary estimate. Now this year it is 31.87 percent. So looks like that definitely the spend has been better than the last year compared to the, the earlier uh, corresponding month. But the difference here is that the budgetary estimate is higher. In this year, this year, the budgetary estimate has been higher, which is 16k crores compared to 14k. Because if you look at in the earlier year of FY23, the estimate was, was re revised to, to a downward value. From 14k crore, it was revised to 11k crore because the government of India was not able to spend. Mighty was not able to spend. This year, till November, it is 16k crores. So, because we have spent how much? We have spent only 5k crores. Now, since we have spent 5k crores, then the numbers look very much, uh, you know, a very uh, challenging number to execute, right? Because it is uh, the still there has there is a gap of how much? 16k crores from 5k crores, and there will be a substantial portion would be what will be for the PLI scheme of this number. So therefore, there is a huge challenge that the government of India has. Mighty has to make that spend within the period that is left out, which is another three three months. We have to make a spend. So that's the yeah, the progress card as far as the Mighty is concerned, which which forms a very large proportion of uh, of its share as far as the PLI is concerned. Okay. Now there is one more metric to basically talk about, which is which is the fiscal def, uh, which is the uh, the trade deficit. Because why we are make, uh, spending so, so much amount of money in PLI? Because we want to add local value and make sure that the our um, for, uh, foreign exchange outflow is minimized. So let's look at that progress. So as you know that the electronics uh, vertical actually is the prime was the primary focus point as far as PLI is concerned because there was a huge trade deficit on that account. So what I have done is that I have created another dashboard. And this dashboard is going to give you a overall picture as far as the, our trade deficit is concerned. Now our trade deficit trend and this data is actually coming from the Ministry of Commerce and the trade deficit till November 23 is 168.2 uh, billion dollars, right? And if you see the corresponding month, see if I do corresponding month, the corresponding month, the trade deficit was 189.2 billion dollars from that point of view this year the trade deficit is low no there is no, no doubt about that right because last year November 2022 20, it was 189.2 billion dollar but let's look at electronics so electronics this is a trade deficit of electronics now on November 22 the trade deficit as per electronic is concerned 35.7 billion uh, billion dollars now this year November 23 is 37.9 billion dollars now when did the PLI start the PLI started in 2020. Now, since the PLI started in 2020, looks like that the impact on PLI as far as the electronic trade deficit is concerned hasn't really happened significant because the value add has not is not happening. Otherwise, if you look at this trend, you will find that last year it was 35.7. Now it is 39, 37.9. Now, 
what we the overall trade deficit in the last year was 50.8 billion dollar as per electronic is concerned this is government data i am not making it up okay now we are in november so it looks like that we are kind of heading close to that number maybe we will overshoot this number so we will still have a trade deficit as per electronic is concerned more than 50 billion dollars which is higher than what we accomplished in last fiscal year fy23 so when we look at pli pli has is definitely important i am not saying that pli is not important what i am basically trying to say is our progress of pli should not be only taken into factor on the amount of money that we are spending on subsidy if you are spending a money of 1.5 billion dollar 1.3 billion dollar on subsidy we have to look into uh, the benefit that we are able to gather from the point of view of curtailing imports because that is a significant part of the benefit that we will be able to draw through pli because that's the focus point the jobs and investment is also important but curtailing export is a very important metric to evaluate the success of pli so when friends we are basically looking at this data we have to look at this data on a holistic manner and look at all angles before we basically uh, start to give our uh, view or uh, be complacent as per as these policies are concerned because we have to critically examine these policies and work towards further enhancing or improving these policies so that the impact of dollar spend on these uh, schemes are fully extracted the value is fully extracted if we don't extract the value of pli then we will not be able to do justice to the taxpayer money which is getting spent on these schemes because these are extremely important that we achieve our objectives to in not only increase exports but curtailing imports so that our overall trade deficit is reduced so i think friends i think uh, that's the end of this video and let me know what you think about it Uh, you i will uh, be happy to see your comments um, in the comment section and um, let me know if anything else if you want me to uh, to talk about i will bring it i will come out with the next video um, uh, as soon as possible thank you very much